show you some strum patterns uh, that you can use for hundreds, well maybe thousands of songs and I'm going to show you them uh, with a pick, without a pick, uh, how to vary them a little bit to make them your own and probably some picking patterns as well. The first thing you would want to learn is how to keep time with your strumming hand. Uh, for, this, uh, for, for most of these strum patterns I'm just going to use one of the chord groups. Uh, I'll probably use uh, E minor, G, C, D the most. So I'll just show you the first strum pattern that I would recommend learning. Uh, just a couple of uh, general tips here. Uh, let's try and strum over the hole. In some videos, if you ever see my hand over here, it's probably just so, I, so you can get both hands in shot. Really the best way to play to get the best tone. Try and keep your pick or your hand over the hole on the guitar. So the first drum pattern is just one and two and three and four and. So I'm just doing down strums and I'm going one and two and three and four and. I'm not fixing my hand anywhere on the guitar like I would if I was picking. Hand is pretty free and I'm going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one. Later on in this little mini course we're going to get uh, a little bit more into accenting which means making some strums louder than others but for now just make sure that when you're counting one and two and three and four and just make sure that your one is a little bit louder than the other ones. So I'll do that again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and. I'll do that with another uh, chord group. So I'll do it with C A minor F G. And this time, instead of just strumming sort of the low and middle strings, I'm going to try and hit everything. surprised how many songs or parts of songs you can play just with that strum pattern. It's very important to get the timing right, counting one and two and three and four and. With music we call that one bar. Uh, some songs you'll play one bar of each chord like I did there. Some songs you might be playing more than one bar so if I play two, two bars of each chord it'll be like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and all down strums. Now almost instinctively then, uh, you know, because I do a lot of this without thinking about it because it's been so long playing guitar, uh, almost instinctively I, I added an up strum which is actually one of the variations I wanted to show you. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you that again but I'll do it on purpose this time because I sort of did it, you know, not necessarily on purpose, it was just like a force of habit. slowly so you can see what it is. I'm going to mute the strings to just make a click click sound like this so you can hear every strum. Have a listen to this. One and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a. I'll do that even slower. One and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a. Very very slow. one where I went and uh, that was a up strum. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 
Uh, so that's the first variation for this drum pattern. Uh, you can also play some strums louder than others, uh, but we'll get to that in, a, in another video that's, that's just about that. I'm going to show you a couple of other things now, so just to do with tone. Uh, some people prefer to play without a pick, so you could play all of this just with your thumb, which gives you a softer tone. Strumming without the pick uh, has you know, some benefits and some drawbacks. Uh, if you're just strumming and not doing any picking as well, I'd probably recommend using the pick because it gives you more options. Um, but it is good to be able to get used to strumming with your thumb and with your fingers as well. So people often ask, is it better to learn with a pick or without a pick? I say, why not just try both as you're going along? You know, when you learn a new strum pattern or a new song, uh, try playing it with the pick, try playing it without the pick, try and get good at both. Uh, it doesn't really take much longer and it, it's quite handy to be able to do both. So I'll play that same strum pattern without the pick now. Here it's a softer sound. And that could be with the thumb, the thumbnail, which is similar to the pick. Or with the finger, the index finger. But you can sort of hold it like a pick or you can flick the strings like this. practicing these with or without the pick try strumming just the low strings try strumming just the high strings try strumming the middle ones try strumming everything I'll go through the chords a few times and I'll vary it as I go so low notes strum pattern uh, that's very handy is to practice playing this one what's called palm muted so uh, when I was practicing the strum pattern before you notice that I muted the strings with this hand so they just make a click click sound you can mute the strings with this hand and it's not quite the same sound it's a little bit different I'll just show you what it is I'll just do this on the, uh, the C chord normal C chord there so <clears throat> this part of the hand here is very very lightly touching the strings here and I mean very very lightly and I mean the exact point I'll show you this a bit closer the exact point where the the string meets the bridge of the guitar so the very end of the string so very very lightly I'm resting this part of my hand uh, the bottom of your palm near your wrist very very lightly touching the strings so instead of the normal strumming sound, that nice bright strumming sound, we get this muted sound, really nice sound. Uh, if I move my hand too far this way, it's too clicky and you don't actually hear the chord, so I could change chord and you don't really hear any difference. What we want is, you'll hear when I change chord now. press down too hard or if you move too far this way you'll get too much of a clicky sound and if you go too far this way you'll just get the normal strumming sound so what we want is a nice sort of in-between sound which is and you can mix in normal strums with palm muted strums
that was one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so that is called an eighth note strum pattern or a quaver strum pattern don't worry too much about the names of these strum patterns i'm going to show you uh eight strum patterns all together and a couple of picking patterns uh, and if you uh, the, you know, that's, that's not loads, so if you memorise these you'll be able to pretty much get the chords for any song and do a pretty good version, you, you know, your own version or, or uh, be able to play something similar to the original. You'll be able to do that with most songs. Okay, that's plenty for you to be practising for now. I'll see you very soon. So